Red blood cells, also known as erythrocytes, have the easily recognizable biconcave shape. Erythrocytes are unique in that they don't have a nucleus. The primary function of these cells is to carry oxygen from the lungs to the rest of the body's cells. Platelets, also known as thrombocytes, are really small cell fragments, which are very important for helping the blood clot. The lymphocyte is characterized by the lack of granules and the unusually large nucleus. Usually, the nucleus fills up most of the cell. These cells play a big role in our immune response. The B lymphocytes bind to intruders, which help alert other white blood cells that the thing it is attached to is an intruder. These cells help the body remember past infections. T lymphocytes act against virus infected cells and tumor cells which have been marked by the B lymphocytes. The neutrophil is characterized by very light granules and they are frequently multi-lobed. The neutrophil is the first responder to an infection and they often cause inflammation. These cells phagocytize or eat foreign cells, toxins, and viruses. If there is an unusually high count of these in the blood, it usually means somebody has a bacterial or fungal infection. The monocyte is the biggest of the white blood cells. It is agranular, meaning it is without granules, and the nucleus is often U or kidney shaped. These cells will become macrophages, which will defend the body against viruses and bacteria by phagocytizing or eating the intruders. They are also known for removing dead cell debris within the blood system. The eosinophil is characterized by large granules and often has a nucleus with two lobes. These cells are particularly effective against parasites and they often phagocytize antigens. They are also responsible for reactions commonly associated with allergies, including asthma, hay fever, and hives. The easiest way to distinguish the basophil is by its very large granules, which almost always obscure or mask the nucleus. Normally these cells are the least common within the blood. The basophil plays a huge role in allergic reactions, including dilating the blood vessels. The body's blood is an amazing system which not only provides oxygen throughout the body, but it has a unique defense against intruders and infections. Hopefully this short video has helped you understand a bit more about these cells found within the blood and how they work together to help us stay alive and healthy.